What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about Microsoft, Xbox, and a phrase that they don't like to talk about anymore. TV. Microsoft and TV go together like oil and water and I'm sure that Phil Spencer wanted to stay that way. If you guys remember the disastrous E3 unveil of the original Xbox One where they mentioned TV more times than any other word in that conference, it really left a poor taste in the mouth of gamers. And since Don Matrick was kicked out of the Xbox treehouse and Phil Spencer took over, they've really decided to really go against that grain and kind of erase that memory of what the original Xbox was intended to be. This all-in-one box that just played TV, TV, and more TV. Microsoft has Microsoft has been rumored to be revealing an Xbox TV device and they actually were supposed to unveil it at E3 this year but it sounds like this thing might be totally cancelled and if it is I completely understand why. I'll drop a link in the description. Microsoft has reportedly cancelled its Xbox TV devices. Microsoft was expected to unveil at least one Xbox streaming device earlier this year but the company may have cancelled its plans altogether. Brad Sams, executive editor at Petrie, originally claimed the device would be unveiled at E3 in June, but Microsoft launched the Xbox One S console and detailed its Project Scorpio plans instead. Windows Central reports that Microsoft canceled its plans to launch an Xbox TV streaming device, leading to an order of 300,000 units to be pulled. The device was reportedly a streaming stick that would debut with a $99 price point and codenamed Project Hobart. It's not clear what led Microsoft to cancel its plans, but the software giant has previously shelved devices at the last minute. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella reportedly canceled the Surface Mini just weeks before it was supposed to debut at an event in New York City. Microsoft unveiled the Surface Pro 3 instead with no mention of a Surface Mini. Microsoft was also reportedly planning to introduce its own Alexa device during its Surface Studio event last month. Windows Central originally reported that Microsoft had an Amazon Echo competitor ready to unveil on October 26 with Cortana built in. Microsoft never unveiled such a device, leading to some speculation that the company canceled its plans. Microsoft has also canceled its hardware efforts with the wearable band accessory recently. So, it appears, look, you gotta know when to hold them and you gotta know when to fold them. Microsoft is learning a lesson, a hard lesson, that sometimes it's easier just to do one thing or two things really well than try to be a jack of all trades and an ace of none. That's a lesson they may have learned from Sony. Sony has tried every single, I'm surprised Sony doesn't have a candy bar in your local grocery store. They tried everything and failed at so many things. They put in so much effort in computers and TVs and phones and all this stuff has failed and hopefully Microsoft is learning from that. The whole stigma of Xbox and TV just does not go well together. Gamers at home who aren't PC gamers enjoy having a dedicated console that also streams Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, and HBO Go, things like this. But nobody with a gaming console, or very few people I would speculate, use it primarily for TV, unless it's a secondary gaming console like the Nintendo Wii U. So way to go Microsoft, you may have dodged a bullet here. I think that the Xbox brand needs to stay as far away from TV as imaginable. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that Microsoft should try other avenues of generating income? Or do you think that their smartest avenues are games and windows? Let me know what you think below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can show your support by going to BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.